Hello to everyone. It's nice to be your online English teacher today. Hope that you are all fine and ready to learn. I won't tell you the topic of today's lesson. Look at the slides and try to guess it. What are your ideas? We can see different activities that people probably do in their free time. The flag of Britain and Big Ben. So, the topic of today's lesson is how British people spend their free time. We are going to talk a lot about free time activities, watch videos and do speaking exercises. Off we go! First of all, let's revise some vocabulary as a warm-up. Complete the following free time activities with the verbs play, go, have and meet. Check the meaning of all the activities. Here you can see the keys. The free time activities and their verbs are of the same colors. Play football play board games. As you can see, we use play with games. Go sailing, go shopping, go swimming, go out. We say go with the ending ing and in phrasal verbs. For example, go out, meet friends and have a sleepover. Let's make sure that we know the meaning of the following activities. A sleepover is a type of a party when a young person or a group of young people stay for the night at the house of a friend. A board game is any of many games, for example chess, in which small pieces are moved around on a board with a pattern on it. Now we are going to watch two videos where you can see more free time activities that are popular in Britain. Add them to a list from the previous slides. Play with my dog. I like to play football. It just gets me out of the house and I enjoy it because lots of my friends go and play it with me. Um, maybe like go shopping. I like playing football with Gav and I like going on the computer, <laughs> I like making comics, and I like going on my PlayStation. Well, if I'm with Fab, I like to go and play football and like to go and play tennis as well. Play in the garden. I go on the trampoline and play football. Go with my dad for football. Tennis and stuff. Yeah, and I like doing um, sort of getting my friends around the sleepovers. Sometimes they have a sleepover at mine and have a sleepover at theirs. I like to ask them around for sleepovers and like to play board games and we like to go on the computer a lot. I like to shop <laughs> um, and I do quite a bit of swimming as well. Play it in baseball. I like watching TV and playing on the trampoline. Play my hamster. Playing football and blind man bluff. We sometimes go sailing um, and I quite like to read. Listen to music. I like playing basketball and playing football and lots of other uh, ball games. British people spend their free time in a lot of different ways. They do sports, they watch sports, they visit interesting places and they have hobbies. Have you tried any of these? What do you do in your free time? Um, I like to watch television and listen to music a lot, but I do go on the internet as well. I like to skateboard and roll loads in my free time. play rugby um, in my free time for Oxford Rugby Club and uh, play tennis. In my free time I usually play sports 
Twitch TV, you can if if the weather's nice or swimming. I like playing rugby. I'm a member of a rugby team. I like swimming, playing tennis and football. I play football for a football team. I play a lot of tennis as well. I play rugby or cricket or go sailing. I play sports, um, go into town, see my friends. In my free time, I go to a drama group and a dance group. Here are the free time activities from the video. Watch TV or television. Listen to music. Play computer games. Pay attention to the way the children and teenagers said about it on the video. They were using go on the computer a lot. Play ball games. Play on a trampoline. Rollerblade. Make comics. Read. Go to a drama dance group. Make sure you know the meaning of all the following free time activities. It's time to practice our speaking skills. Exercise number one. Look at your list of activities. Which of these do, don't you do? Every day. Every week. Every weekend. On holiday. The next question. Have you ever had a sleepover? And the last question. Which activity have you never tried before, but would like to try one day? Exercise number two. Expressing likes and dislikes. Your task is to make up short dialogues about different free time activities. Ask and answer questions as in the example. You can use your own ideas too. Do you like, enjoy? Yes, I do. Yes, I'm keen on, fond of, interested in. No, I don't. Not really. Not at all. For example, do you like playing board games? Yes, I'm very keen on playing board games. What about you? Let's make a conclusion. The British of different ages, like any other people all over the world, enjoy their free time. They spend it doing various things, from watching TV to playing musical instruments. Your homework for the next time is to revise vocabulary, free time, leisure activities, and to read the text and do some exercises. Bolton Middle School. Clubs meet at 4.30, right after school. Clubs and activities. Art club. Are you keen on painting? Then join us. We work in groups and learn how to draw and paint. We also go on trips to art museums. Meetings. Wednesdays and Fridays. Drama club. Are you good at acting? Our drama club is the club for you. We write and present our own plays. We also go to the theatre a lot. Meetings, Mondays. Sports club. Do you want to have fun? Go cycling, swimming and windsurfing with us. Or play football, basketball or baseball in one of our teams. Meetings, Tuesdays. Computer club. Are you interested in computers? Learn new programs. Use our PCs to do your homework and play the best computer games ever. Meetings every day. Book club. Are you fond of literature? Read exciting novels. Talk about them and exchange books. Meetings. Mondays, Thursdays and Fridays. Music club. Are you mad about music? Then join one of the bands in our club and let the good times rock. Meetings, Fridays. Photography club. Are you interested in photography? Come to our club, print your own pictures, and meet people who love photography. Meetings, Tuesdays and Thursdays.
You did a great job. Thank you for your attention. The lesson is over. Goodbye.